Today we're taking a look at the Mooncool 350 electric trike. So this is a budget electric trike from Mooncool. We've reviewed two other Mooncool bikes. Uh, I think the last one we did was their TK1 trike, the foldable trike, which was really an awesome trike, to be honest. And so this is a model that's slightly under that. It's, you know, their budget base model, I think. And just right up front, this basically comes completely disassembled. Like you have to assemble every part of this thing. It comes in a small box because everything is like in pieces. Uh, literally the frame, you have to install the derailleur, uh, you have to run brake cable through the levers. You also have to run the shifting cable, you know, into the rear derailleur. Most of these things come like 80 to 90% pre-assembled. So this was like really unusual. It also took like two days for me to assemble this thing. And I consider myself like intermediate to advanced experience with like putting bikes together. So I can't imagine someone who maybe has mobility issues or maybe a senior, you know, getting this package and having to put this whole thing together from scratch. Definitely have to get some assistance either from a family member or a friend, or even if they take it to the bike shop, I think the bike shop would actually charge them uh, like a good amount because there's so much assembly required. Even like the, the rear basket, you know, came in four pieces and it's just, you know, it's just like a really affordable, sort of the cheapest way to uh, sell this thing at this price point. It's an affordable trike, but what you're trading off in price, you're gonna have to deal with in terms of assembly and the amount of time that you wanna put into assembly. So let's just go through all the features. Uh, the Mooncool 350 has a high 10 steel frame. This is a 350 watt front hub motor. I mean, I think it just comes in this silver color. I don't even think they paint it black. Uh, so yeah, there's like no frills, right? No frills at all. You can get either 24 or 26 inch tires. We opted for the 24 inch. You also have a front mechanical disc brake. You have this integrated headlight over here. And then, like I said, with the assembly, uh, you have to basically install these crimp connectors into the back of the light. It's a step through design, but you do have this little bar over here to keep things somewhat stable. It is somewhat wobbly, uh, but that, I think that's just the nature of this style of electric trike. Now here is the integrated battery and we got a 36 volt, 14.5 amp hour battery. Now on the website, it says you could get either 36 volt or 48 volts. I feel like this might be swapped either an error on the website or on the label here because i think the 14.5 amp hour is for 48 volts and the 36 volt battery is 10 amp hours so i don't know a little confusing but the battery is removable and so this saddle seat actually flips up and the saddle seat has some springs under it so you do have some suspension a little bit and there's a lever over here so you could flip that up the battery just kind of like comes out like that. So really easy to take on and off. 24 inch tires. You have the integrated fenders. This was kind of tricky to install too. I mean, the fenders, you had to basically install, uh, you know, these three bolts over here with locking nuts and then these arms and then they have to attach over here. It seems simple, but it is really time consuming to just assemble everything from scratch. So you don't have an integrated rear taillight, you just have these reflectors. Under here is where the derailleur is. It took me some time to install. You know, I had to kind of reference some of my bikes to know exactly how, how this thing fit. But it's pretty straightforward, seven speeds. And then you have uh, a rear disc brake over here. So one thing to be aware of is that the chain comes with a SRAM master link. And if you don't have like a SRAM tool, it's really hard to take this thing on and off. So if you mess up installing the derailleur, like if you put it in the wrong way, it's gonna be really difficult to take the master link off unless you have that tool to remove it. So here's a rear basket. Like I said, it's really a no frills basket. You know, you have to put all these pieces together and they don't lock in easily. Uh, actually, you have to put zip ties over here to keep them from moving around. They do have like these metal brackets, but I just went with zip ties. And then you have these uh, two metal brackets over here to secure it to the frame. Over here is the seat post. And so to tighten this thing, you basically just have this 
lever over here that you twist. It's kind of unusual. You know, it's basically just like a little clamp bolt. It's not your typical seat post quick release bike clamp. So moving this up and down would probably take a little bit longer. Basically the, the cabling is pretty straightforward. You know, all the cabling comes installed, you know, in the frame. So you don't have to run any cables through the frame, which is good. Here's a look at the Shimano seven speed derailleur. You also have a bell. Uh, you have these rubber grips, which are actually pretty nice. You have your left hand thumb throttle and then your display. You also have these riser handlebars, which can be adjusted depending on how you like to ride. So those are all the features of the Mooncool 350. Took a long time to assemble. So let's get to the first ride. Mooncool 350 features a high 10 steel frame and a step through design. With a top speed of 15.5 miles per hour and powered by a 350 watt front hub motor, it's not the fastest trike on the block, but it's got enough power for casual rides. Its 36 volt, 14.5 amp hour removable battery offers up to 40 miles of range, which is decent for getting around town. The saddle seat is comfortable and has a lever that pops it up to access the battery. The mechanical disc brakes are fine, but it will take some time to assemble, which we'll get into later. The integrated headlight and 24 inch tires round out the package, although the tires felt a little too skinny for our taste. The trike comes equipped with a Shimano 7-speed derailleur, offering a decent range for pedaling at different speeds. Integrated fenders keeps the water away, and the rear basket is a good addition for those grocery runs or carrying personal items. Okay, first ride with the Mooncool 350 electric trike. We put a log in the rear basket just to see how it would feel while we're riding. So pretty comfortable just sitting on top of here. There's no brake lock, so if this bike was positioned the other way, I'd probably be rolling down. So uh, you definitely want to hold on to the brakes once you get on. There are three riding modes. We'll just set it up to three for now. Our shifter is in the seventh gear. Now we did have some issues installing the derailleur, but it looks like we're in the right sprocket when I look at the chain. Okay, here we go. First ride with the Mooncool 350. Okay, so nice and smooth. The chain is making some funny noises. <laughs> I can see that the derailleur is not fully aligned, so sorry for that. I probably won't try to do too much pedaling. So the controller feels good. Obviously not a lot of power, but I think uh, for something like this, it's really all you need. Really easy to handle, sort of. Uh, I'm used to riding electric trikes, so you just want to be careful on like sharp turns because you will go on two wheels. Handlebars feel like they're in a good position. Again, I don't don't think my pedaling is doing much <laughs> because of the derailleur. All right, top speed test going uphill. Chain seems like it's locked in. Chain came off. <laughs> uh, 15 miles per hour on the display going uphill. And then let's do a quick downhill test. About 17, 16 miles per hour going downhill. Yeah, I totally forgot I had a log in the back, so uh, I guess that's a good thing. Didn't notice it. Yeah, like I said, it's a budget electric trike. The biggest issue was trying to assemble this thing from scratch. I really didn't like that. It took up a lot of time. I would have paid more to have this thing at least pre-assembled. Otherwise, you know, it's a functional budget electric trike. It's not going to give you a lot of thrills. Uh, if you just need something, you know, to go to the corner store and pick up some groceries or whatever, it's fine for that. Is it a recommend? If you like tinkering with your bike, if you're probably going to replace these parts, maybe. Uh, but otherwise, I think Mooncool has some better options that are pre-assembled. So here's what we like. The Mooncool 350's affordability makes it an attractive option for those on a budget, bringing electric trikes within reach, and its three-wheel design offers enhanced stability and balance, which is great for older adults or anyone with mobility challenges. But here's some things to be considered. The non-folding design means loading it into vehicles could be a logistical headache. And here's our biggest issue. The trike requires a fair bit of assembly out of the box, which might necessitate professional help, especially for seniors or those with limited mobility, potentially adding to the overall cost. The Mooncool 350 
low-budget electric trike pitches itself as a gateway to accessible mobility, and in many ways, it delivers. Although it does that in the most no-frills and low-budget way possible. Also, the challenges around transport and assembly are worth considering, especially for those it aims to serve most. So what do you think about the Mooncool 350? Is it the budget-friendly solution to your mobility needs? Or do the cons have you hitting the brakes? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Thank <laughs> you.